protect your guns with the Safe and Vault store. That's a Safe and Vault store. Click the link below right now. Providing the lowest prices and a price match guarantee on new and custom safes. And a promo code LIGHTEN at checkout for a free light kit with any purchase of any gun safe over $1,000. Sale ends August 31st at the Safe and Vault store. Free shipping on all orders. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It's Thursday, August 20th, 2015. And in North Carolina, D's Nuts is in third place. Third party candidate on that poll. Candidate named D's Nuts. Oh no. Really? A candidate registered as an independent from Iowa has the legal name of D's Nuts. No. Public policy polling showed him pulling 9% of the vote in North Carolina. After Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Seriously, D's Nuts was registered in North Carolina and according to a recent poll is in third place. It just goes to show you the absolute disgust with career politicians and the absolute disgust that America has, North Carolina specifically, for politicians in Washington, D.C., that D's Nuts is actually in third place. You know, I think we should try to maybe build upon D's Nuts platform a little bit. Maybe put this person into the public eye. I mean, 9%? That's freaking crazy. I heard fourth place was Big Titties. Actually, I'm joking about Big Titties, but D's Nuts, seriously, in North Carolina, is in third place. Which brings me to Donald Trump, who has been leading the polls. According to CNN ORC, recently, up until yesterday, they said that Hillary had taken a little bit of the lead. I guess Americans just don't care about her burning her servers and her emails, or perhaps the mainstream media through the CNN ORC poll is just lying to us. You know, the criminal crook scumbag that makes up Hillary Clinton and her husband. Isn't it interesting that Donald Trump is always accused of being a misogynist? People like Megyn Kelly of Fox News that no one had even heard of prior to the GOP debate has to ask him questions about things he said of Rosie O'Donnell, even though Donald Trump happens to be an entertainer. I mean, he's the guy that fires you. You're, You're fired. fired. You're 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 fired. Uh, Donald Trump, of course, is Hollywood, but nobody puts focus on Bill Clinton, Bill and Hillary. You know, Bill Clinton has been accused by multiple women of rape and also was banging Monica Lewinsky in the White House, stuffing cigars up her <laughs> stuff like that. But nobody says anything about that. We don't hear uh, this coming from the mainstream media that, you know, how, how could Hillary, a feminist of all uh, presidential candidates, hook up with Bill Clinton and stay with this guy when Bill's been accused of rape by like 10 different chicks. <laughs> Monica Lewinsky, I guess, was consensual. I mean, the list just goes on and on. It just goes to show you the double standard that makes up the piece of shit mainstream media. But I also want to talk in today's video about my personal concerns about Donald Trump. If you've been tuning into me, you know that I support Donald Trump. At this point, he has my vote. I think he can do some good things for the country. Yes, I think he's got an ego. Yes, I think he's a bit of an asshole and a narcissist, but I think that's also perfect for President of the United States. And the pendulum is also swinging to the other side, which is a good thing. We're moving away from this liberalized, socialized society, Caitlyn Jenner cut your dick off, to the Donald Trump, to more of this conservative anti-politician stance, which I'm for. Anything that combats the criminal activity of the Obama regime is a positive in my eyes. But I also think we have some legitimate concerns about Donald Trump. Like, is there going to be any real reform? And I think we should hold him accountable for this before we vote for him, before we give him that vote in 2016. You know, are you going to actually reform Wall Street? What's your position on Dodd-Frank? What's your position on Glass-Steagall separating commercial bank Insti banking institutions from their trading platforms and their securities relationships on Wall Street, we could argue, caused the collapse of 2008, 2009. Is there going to be any kind of real reform? Uh, do any of these banksters pay the price uh, for their Don Corleone ways, uh, for screwing over and rolling over the American people, uh, for basically liquidating all of our assets into the future and creating these enormous amounts of debt? Is he going to actually reform anything? You know, it's why I like people like Elizabeth Warren. It's like why I like people like Bernie Sanders, because 
They might be on the opposite side of the spectrum in terms of their political beliefs, but they're actually pushing for real reform. In addition to reform on Wall Street, what is Donald Trump's stance on surveillance? This is one of the reasons I support Rand Paul and I supported his father, Ron Paul. What is his position on this spying campaign, this anti-constitutional spy grid that makes up the national spying agency in the United States of America? What is his take on that? Will he protect and fight for our freedom? our freedom of privacy, our freedom of speech? Will he protect our Bill of Rights and the Constitution, this great country that makes up the Constitutional Republic? You know, we need to hold him accountable to these questions and we also need answers and we need them soon. You know, one of the reasons I like Donald is because he's a strong figure. Yes, he's politically incorrect, but I think the rest of the world fears him. I think that the next president, whether or not it's Donald Trump or it's Hillary Clinton is going to inherit the next crisis, not just on Wall Street, but the next global global crisis, the next war. And personally, as an American in a country that's been weakened by the Obama regime, I want somebody strong. I want the rest of the world to fear us. You know, there's a reason why Vladimir Putin in Russia has so much popular support. You know, he does these photo shoots, you know, he dives down in submarines and stuff, he rides horses without his shirt off, etc. But there's a reason why the people like him. He's bold. He's a strong political figure, and it's exactly what we need in America. And it's why I think Trump will do a much better job, because he's actually feared around the world. He can also negotiate better on our behalf. He's a capitalist. He plays the system. Yes, he's declared bankruptcy multiple times, things that I don't like. He's got the banks by the balls. But as he said himself, and as the absolute gosh darn truth, these banksters are sharks. These aren't good people. These are assholes. So what if Donald Trump has manipulated his way to the top? You know, he's really the epitome of the American dream, uh, of what it meant to go out west back in the day during the gold rush, start a business, you know, 50 years ago and grow it into something that actually meant something. You know, we lack all this in America today. I mean, how many entrepreneurs do you know nowadays? in their 20s or in their 30s. Honestly, I look at my friends. I look at the people I know. I'm the only guy. I'm the only guy that has a small business. Nobody else does. They all work for the man. You know, we need to start incentivizing what made America great. Not only shutting down our borders and preventing and creating all these incentives for people to cross our borders. Of course, they vote for the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton in 2016. But we need to start incentivizing Americans and emboldening them to what made America great in the first place. Uh, but we also need to hold figures, political figures like Donald Trump, accountable. I want to hear from you what you think, things that you might be concerned about with Donald Trump. I personally do not think that he is a plant. I keep hearing that over and over again. Honestly, I think you need to look closer. I do not believe that he is a plant so that he can sidestep to the independent, you know, independent platform and then, you know, that caves the GOP and the Republicans and then, you know, supersedes Hillary Clinton in 2016. I honestly don't believe that. I think Donald Trump is for real. That's his leverage. That's why he's using it. He is a political outsider, in my opinion, to the GOP. Behind closed doors, and I've heard the whispers, they want to ax this guy. It's why the mainstream media, Fox News included, which is supposed to be a conservative take on things, is anti-Donald Trump. They've been trying to throw him under the bus. Why do you think Megyn Kelly was asking those very aggressive questions during the GOP debate? He is a political outsider. He's a business elite. He's a capitalist. He's a business insider, but he's a political outsider, and he's threatening the establishment. I mean, Trump knows this, and anybody knows this with half a brain. He's entering very dangerous territory, dangerous waters. Uh, and and it, to me, that honestly only makes me want to support him more, this, this message that's being portrayed by the mainstream media that is so anti-Trump and is honestly so anti-American. You know, it's gotten to the point where we really don't have any kind of system left. There's really no essential difference between Republican and Democrat. The GOP field is so weakened, the cast of characters, yes, I like people like Ben Carson, I like Rand Paul, but they don't have a chance against the Democratic establishment. They don't have a chance against Hillary Clinton. Trump is the only person that has a chance. So hopefully he's not just in it for his own ego, but he's also in it for America, to make it great again. And if he could also structure real reform, 
actually really reform Wall Street, reform the banking system. Talk about Glass-Steagall, its repeal, and maybe its reinstitution. Talk about Dodd-Frank. Talk about the bank bailouts. And more importantly, reform our system. And also talk a thing about things like the surveillance state, the illegal wiretapping, the spying, drone strikes overseas, anti-constitutional wars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We would be so much better off. We would be better off with a Trump in 2016. And I think he should play, and America should play, their Trump card. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard-hitting it in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.